Hi everyone, we're at trolley stop number 12. You can see the trolley just pulling away right now. This is probably your best mode of transportation while you're here on International Drive. And you can get the iRide trolley passes uh, for as little as $9 for a 14 day pass. But uh, we're gonna walk along and see what's along uh, this uh, trolley stop. Um, there's a few restaurants. You begin uh, restaurant row and you can see there's high-end restaurants. Um, Twin Peaks. Right across the street is Charlie's Steakhouse. If you want a good steak, that's the place to go. It's a little pricey. If you want a cheaper steak, you can go to Longhorns, which is just a little bit farther back. And then uh, right in front of us, you can see the large Star Flyer, the newest attraction here at uh, International Drive. I figure I'd just take a little walk. I'm heading over to uh, the Orlando 360 right now, Icon 360. It's changed its name several times. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Hi, Sean. Glad to have you with us today. We're just taking a stroll. It's kind of warm out, but uh, it's not too bad. The sun is behind clouds, so it's a good day for a walk. There's a lot of people out on I Drive walking around, checking things out. And uh, the Star Flyer just went up, but I heard some rumbling and thunder in the background, so they may have brought it back down before that. Um, there's Outback Steakhouse. We were talking about steaks a minute ago. Hey, Michael, you guys coming? Oh, wow, Thursday. Can't wait to see you. I'll be hanging out around the Game Changers area if you guys need to see me. Um, or uh, Buffalo Wild Wings or some of the other uh, restaurants around. Um, we have a lot of excursions this week, especially to the beach and the coast. Don't forget, there's a couple of launches this week. But they're gonna be during the day, they're going to be at nighttime. And um, if you've never seen a night launch, it's pretty spectacular. And right now I'm at a crossroads. And uh, when you uh, come here, don't forget to uh, push these buttons for your crossings because some of these cars do not pay attention at all. So we're gonna walk across here right now. So that's a good, good way, look at it. So this is Jamaican court, so you can see all the different uh, places. If you're staying at any of these uh, hotels right here, it's right across the street. And your closest trolley stop would be 12. Um, there's Carabas for Italian restaurants as well. Um, if you like bowling, you got King's Bowling right across the street. Uh, Sleuths, so there's a lot of different places. If you happen to drive while you're here in Orlando, there's a lot of free parking around as well. We got the Brick House over here. And don't forget about uh, Joe's Crab Shack, if you like that. And um, there's a lot of places to eat right in this general area. So if you're looking for nightlife, and you really don't want to spend any money except for food, you can hang out here. There's always kinds of entertainment, live entertainment, a lot of these restaurants. Hi, Claire. How are you? And anytime that you guys have questions, you can always ask. I'll be glad to try to help you out in any way I can. Sometimes if it's way out in advance, I won't be able to answer the questions, like for sporting events. But for the most part, um, I'll be glad to uh, try to answer anything for you. We have a lot of good specials coming up as well. Uh, for anybody that's visiting here in Orlando in the next year. Um, we'll have a clear water special that we're going to introduce um, at the end of summer. And uh, we just introduced our Pirate Pack. Pirate's Dinner Show is open now. We did a couple of uh, live videos over there so you can get a taste of what the dinner show is like. So there's more options to do on iDrive. And there's that star flyer. You can see how tall that tower is right there. I haven't been up in it yet. I don't mind heights, I just don't like spinning rides. Alright, so we're going to walk around a little bit further. We'll go and walk along uh, Restaurant Row. I have eaten at these restaurants before. They are pretty good. Um, if you have families, you got a lot of kids. Um, some of these aren't too bad. They're very affordable. And there's a lot of gift cards too. So if you know someone that's coming over, you can always get gift cards for some of these restaurants like Carabas and Outback Steakhouse. Hi Heather, how are you? The weather's nice, you can see it's kind of cloudy, but it's really not too hot at this point. Here's the Shake Shack, if you like good burgers, they got excellent burgers there. And there's Buffalo Wild Wings, of course. Um, there's several Buffalo Wild Wings on iDrive. There's one over by SeaWorld. You got this one right in the middle. And then there's another one down on trolley stop number eight. So hopefully you got a good look of what it's like around trolley stop number 12. So if you are staying on the outskirts of iDrive, you can plop down right here and check out uh, a lot of stuff. Here's the yard house. They got all kinds of different uh, micro brews here. So if you like your different beers, this is a good place to come as well. 
And of course, there's the Orlando 360, the Icon. Um, you have Madame Tussauds, Sea Life over here. Um, there's a lot of cool little restaurants. Uh, the Sugar Factory is really neat. If you haven't been there, hi Maria, how are you? Welcome aboard on this uh, this walk along I Drive, and we are right in front of Uncle Julio's right now. And of course, uh, the new Icon. And there's Skeletons Museum, um, which is part of the Pirate Pack. And we also have some really good deals out there. So if you ever have any questions about what you need, again, just message us. We'll be glad to help in any way we can. But you can see there's many different restaurants around here as well. Tin Roof, Cowgirls, a lot of family stuff. And there's a lot of live entertainment around here as well. If you look at the schedule uh, for the Icon 360, you can see uh, all the different events that they have here. And this isn't a bad place to watch one of those rocket launches as well. If you have a really clear day, you can see Kennedy Space Center from the top, which is about 55 miles away. So you got an excellent view. But uh, yeah, if you guys are in town and you're gonna see the rocket launch, it's gonna be between 1 a.m. and 3.30 a.m. on the 4th of August. And then there's another launch on August 11th as well. Cocoa Beach is a great place to watch some of these launches too so you don't always have to go to kennedy space center to see a really good launch all right so i'm going to end it right here in the middle of the green let's take one good look around seeing everything hey Gemma, how are you and hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little walk along the uh, trolley stop 12 which is right here you can see the big eye behind me and uh, again, this is Flavio Morrissey from Excursions. I'll be glad to help you out in any way I can. So throw me your questions. I'll be glad to answer anything for you. If I can't answer them right away, I will find out for you. This is Flavio again. You guys have a great day.